What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Apex Wheels channel. We wanted to take some time today and talk about our newest wheel release, the SM10 RS. And I've got our sales director, Ryan March here. So Ryan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the philosophy behind the sprint line and how this SM10 RS fits within that. Yeah, for sure. This wheel is joining our existing VS5 RS and EC7 RS forged wheels. And uh, the sprint line is really home of our lightest weight wheels. Uh, we really want every lineup that we have to have a purpose. Cool. So how does it compare to the you know, VS5 RS and yeah. EC7 RS? Let's Certainly. Say. The SM10 RS is stiffer than our VS5 RS, extremely popular wheel design that we have right now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's essentially matching its weight. And in many places, the SM10 RS has actually taken the, uh, the top uh, spot of being the lightest wheel yeah. um, for certain applications. In certain fitments, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. And uh, if I just talk about kind of the rest of the lineup, the EC7 RS is actually our stiffest design. So this mm -hmm. wheel sits in between the VS5 RS and EC7 RS in terms of the uh, stiffness. So all three designs are going to be made from our custom dies. These blanks, they start off at about 120 pounds, a lot of material, right? Uh, and this is critical so that our engineers aren't handcuffed to what they can essentially produce from a fitment standpoint. Uh, going to super wide widths for, let's say, a GT3 RS or a Viper. They need all the grip. Um, it affects things like brake clearance uh, for spoke design. Um, these blanks also allow us to get super deep with our spokes and very thin. Uh, that allows our engineers to really get that, like, you know, strength to weight ratio right where they want it. You know, a lot of companies are using third-party blanks that really are meant for a, a aesthetic street wheel. Uh, it is going to really, again, uh, cut you off the knees in terms of what you can do with your forged wheel design. Um, yeah, we've talked about some of those. Um, definitely, uh, we went in depth about the, the blanks themselves, what they allowed our engineers to do in another video. So if you want to go check that out, you know, definitely go check the, the link in the description. Um, but what, let's talk about some of those features that we were able to input into the SM10 RS and the other designs that are within the sprint line from these custom dies. For sure, yeah. So this design may look familiar to you guys, and that is because it is inspired from our SM10 flow formed wheel. At the end of the day, the flow form construction does limit what our you know very talented engineers can do. So uh, when we rebirth this wheel uh, within our sprint line, they're able to basically take the I-beam spokes, for example, that really are, I think, the focal point of this wheel mm -hmm. uh, to a whole nother level, right? Um, and what I mean by that is, is it, when you get your hands on this wheel, you can really start to feel the differences. It's something that I encourage people to kind of touch and interact with. Yeah. Um, but the level of side milling here is, is pretty aggressive. It's, it's pretty extreme, uh, both in width and in depth. One thing to note is in regards to an I-beam type spoke. You see this often advertised, I think, with other wheel designs, um, but you have to kind of look at how it was achieved. Sometimes they're actually adding material, right, to create that artificial I-beam. Uh, they're not really actually scalloping material away, reducing, of course, the weight uh, in the right places. And uh, this wheel really delivers on that front. Um, beyond the spokes in terms of uh, the scalloping, they have also, uh, the engineers, have maximized brake clearance in a big way. So, you know, we've done our case studies on Porsche, Corvette, BMW, uh, you name it in terms of carbon brake options and aftermarket brake options. And they're really building those spokes to have the proper concavity uh, to optimize strength to weight, but also to clear those really vital calipers that you guys have on your cars so that you don't have to run spacers uh, or turn to like an alternative diameter and go too large, right, which adds weight cost and tires and stuff like that. Yeah, and that comes with a lot of work uh, involved before we actually get to the design phase of the wheel. You know, we're talking about brake scanning, right. um, getting cars in for actual test fitments, and then modeling those wheels on the brake scans that we've actually captured ourselves. So the engineers have taken a lot of time and you know they're optimizing for millimeters of space and um, you know, obviously concavity as well, which you know you can really see visually on these wheels. Yeah, uh, if we move past the spokes, uh, I think the, the thing to note too that is a feature across all of our sprint line designs is the inner sprint spec lip. Um, this is a, a proprietary lip design that we came up with. It is something that really a lot of individuals, uh, when they're shopping for wheels, simply don't pay attention to, right? It's not talked about a lot. But if you think about just the genetic makeup of a wheel, 
you don't have any spokes on the back side, right? It's an unsupported location. Uh, think about when you're hopping a berm. You know, for us, it, it might be bus stop at Button Willow or mm-hmm. turn six on uh, east of Thunder Hill. You know, these places eat wheels, right? Even the best of wheels. And that is because, you know, that inside lip is just smacking, you know, the yep. berm uh, or uh, catching the lip. And it is super important for us to really kind of focus on that inner lip design, make sure that it's beefy, but again, you're actually putting the material in the right places. Um, anybody can glob a ton of material on, and that's just gonna increase the weight of the wheel. Uh, so you have to be very strategic, you know, in what that looks like. Yeah, and there's some other features uh, that I wanna talk about uh, that are notable. Uh, okay. It's gonna be our painless knurl bead on the inner barrel. Across all three designs, we do have a unpainted section where our knurling is. We really want to try to prevent as much slippage as possible, right? right? Yeah. Um, a lot of race teams you'll see will mark the tire and the wheel uh, to have kind of a reference point. Uh, you know, go out, do a stint, mm-hmm. uh, and you can really start to see how much that tire is rotating. Ultimately, what this does is it throws off the balance. Yep. Uh, for street cars, I would say that that's a bit more important, right, mm-hmm. to maintain that balance. Uh, but uh, yeah, the knurling is essentially there to prevent that tire from slipping. And yeah. again, it's not just under uh, acceleration, it is absolutely under braking as well. Um, beyond that, you know, center cap wise, uh, all of our wheels come with our apex caps, but uh, a vast majority of our wheels in the Sprint family are designed to accept your OEM caps as well, which is a nice touch. We've talked about all of the great features that make the SM10 RS an awesome wheel, but how do we actually validate that and make sure that the engineering is as great as we say it is? Yeah, well, I mean, to be frank, a lot of companies don't. Um, mm-hmm. We have a lot of confidence in what our talented engineer you know, team can, can do. Uh, but ultimately, all of our Sprint line forged wheels are third party tested by STL Labs uh, in Ohio. And that is really what gives us, I think, the confidence to offer some of these unmatched replacement programs and warranties that you guys can learn more about at apexwheels.com. Uh, it's our way of really kind of stepping up to the plate and taking care of enthusiasts you know, after they're running our wheels, whether it's street use or you know, in pursuit of the podium on the racetrack. Any other features before we? I think we should tell the people what finishes they're currently yeah. offered in. Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. You know, so, <laughs> you know, right now we're offering the SM10 RS in a wide variety of finishes, really, uh, out of the gate. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have our brushed clear finish here. Uh, it just, you have to see this in person, you know, uh, yeah. through uh, a site or a video just doesn't do it justice. You can really see the, the grain of the wheel, uh, which is, is super cool. Uh, here we have our satin bronze finish. Yeah. Uh, Satin bronze, almost like a JDM finish to me. Like I, I really feel like this application is really set for those um, JDM guys. Uh, just a little bit of, of, of gold and brown um, within that and some metallic flake as well. Yeah, uh, beyond that, we have our new Motorsport Gold um, for select applications and, and we're really coming out strong with Motorsport Gold across all three sprint line designs yeah, because- I think a lot of people are looking forward to that finish too. Yeah, that, yeah. that's uh, my baby. I, I really yeah. wanted uh, the proper, you know, uh, Motorsport white gold, if you will. Uh, the Porsche guys are loving that, mm-hmm. uh, BMW guys as well, and we're starting just to, to you know, add it to the rest of the catalog. Yeah, and then of course we have our anthracite finish, which is likely uh, you know, one of our most popular finishes. We've had this in the catalog for a very long time. And then of course, um, Satin black. Satin black. Can't yeah. forget satin black. Satin black, yeah. which is you know self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah, um, and in terms of fitments, right? Uh, in true Apex fashion, you know, we sat down, we talked to the uh, market experts uh, that you know really understand what you know the customer base is looking for. I think in terms of, of application for you know street, dual duty, uh, track and race. And uh, we came out with quite uh, a large offering, you know, out of the gate. Uh, That's going to continue to expand. We've got stuff for BMW, both in 5x120 and 5x112. Porsche, Corvette, Camaro, Mustang. GR Supra. GR Supra. GR Corolla. Correct, yeah. Yeah. The list just kind of goes on. Uh, If you guys want to check out those fitments specifically to see if we have a solution for you, definitely jump over to our website, apexwheels.com. You can take a look at the finishes and you're gonna see a, a big gallery too of images on car. Yep. Hopefully that'll inspire you guys, you know, in terms of what finish looks good on your car. And uh, if you guys wanna see a fitment, you know, uh, come to fruition that we're currently not offering, I really encourage you guys to, you know, comment below, reach out to us. Uh, the enthusiast community really drives what we do, honestly. Yep. So uh, we're all ears and uh, we look forward to seeing SM10 RSs you know, on uh, racetracks near us. Yeah, definitely.